today we're going to be uh, smoking some baby back ribs on the Traeger. So I, uh, I started out doing this with the Traeger 321 recipe available on the Traeger website and uh, modified it from there. So we're going we're gonna to go with a modified version today. First ingredient is mustard. You want a third to a half a cup. Now Traeger says mix in some uh, Worcestershire sauce and some applesauce. Today I'm going to do something that I've always enjoyed, which is brown sugar. We'll mix this up to, uh, to a consistency where you can spread it easily. You can put a lot of sugar in brown sh in, a, in the mustard before. This is how I cook uh, for St. Patty's Day corned beef. I'll make a mixture like this and spread over the corned beef. Thinking I'll need a little bit more. You know, if you don't like sweet ribs, you probably want to stick with the Traeger recipe. I like a real sweet barbecue flavor. Okay, let's get a couple of these ribs out. Be cooking two of these today, and I'm going to be uh, freezing the, le the last one and, and uh, cooking that some other day. Basically, now you want to coat the ribs in, a, in your mustard mixture, whatever it is. Doing this outside again today, so I don't have to worry about clean up in a kitchen. Put a piece of butcher paper down because I knew it was going to be messy. Okay. Okay. Next step is to apply a uh, a rub or a shake, dry rub. Uh, today I'm sh working with a pork and poultry shake from Traeger. I uh, I really like this stuff, but uh, I've been you know, I don't know if uh, you find something you like, find something that looks good in the store or flea market. I know uh, farmers markets where I live have have some of this stuff for sale. You know, I like to just cake it on. I go through a lot of this. Okay, we'll uh, load these two pieces of meat up on the handy duty, handy dandy uh, jelly roll pan here that I use for barbecuing. Okay, we're back at the grill. I'm running a mixture of uh, it's either hickory and apple or mesquite and apple, and we're 
got the trigger set up it's smoked it's been on smoke for a while so we'll go ahead and load up the ribs try not to get too much barbecue sauce on on the handle uh, we're just gonna let the ribs smoke for three hours and we'll be out every hour to put a little uh, applesauce on them or apple juice just as just like the Traeger's recipe okay here we are one hour into the smoking process Got a little apple juice here we're just gonna pour the apple juice on top of the on top of the ribs help them stay nice and tender. There we go. Okay, here we are at two hours on smoke. The mustard is drying up. You can see the spices. And here I'm going to pour some more apple juice on top. smoke for another hour and then we'll wrap it in foil. Okay, here we are at three hours on smoke. Wonderful set of ribs here. We've got some gloves on that are good for uh, cooked meat temperatures. Not hot, hot metal, but good for cooked meat. We'll just take these off. Set them on our pan. I'm going to turn up the Traeger to 225 and move the camera over. We'll wrap these in foil and go on to the next step. Okay, here we go. So we're going to take each rib individually and set it out on a piece of foil. I'm going to get some brown sugar. Gonna sprinkle a bunch of brown sugar on top of this. There goes my other set of foil. Okay, after the after the, after the sugar comes a bunch of honey. We're gonna coat it in honey. Okay, and now carefully lift this up. I wanna form a little bit of a dam here. We're gonna add Add apple juice. Now the apple juice acts both as a sweetener and a source of moisture. Because we we added the smoke flavor with uh, the three hours on smoke, and now what we want to do is seal. Want to wrap this up so that it's sealed. You got to be careful not to puncture. Let the ribs, ribs puncture the foil. You want, to, you want to seal it up, and then when, as you cook it at 225, it's going to steam in here, along with the, you know, the nice sugar from the applesauce and the honey and the brown sugar, and that's going to set you up for some real nice tender ribs. And so we're going to do that for both pieces individually. Put them back on the grill. One hour will will be fine. I prefer, greatly prefer, more like three hours so that 
and it, it all depends on your personal preference. Do you want ribs that are really tender where you grab the rib, it comes out and you're left with the meat? Or do you want a little bit uh, not, so, not as tender, you know, not quite fall off the bone? So I'm going to go ahead and do the second one. And uh, we'll get these back on, back on the, on the grill. Okay, grill's up to 225. Put these back in. Now the only trick is to make sure that you don't run out of pellets for the next three hours. Okay, here's the big moment. We've had these in for 225 for uh, three hours now. Again, my heat proof gloves. Don't really have to worry about aluminum foil staying hot. It doesn't really retain its heat much. But what you have to worry about when you unwrap these is the steam that comes out. Now this, this is, uh, the heat's already gone out of the aluminum. We're gonna get a bunch of steam as soon as we open this up. Alright, this is staying pretty hot. There we go. Make sure we can see that on the camera. This looks pretty good. I'm going to move this back onto the grill. We've got the meat pulling away from the ribs, which is a good sign. And a split a split in the top. So what I'm going to do is just transfer that over and scoot it off. You need the juices will just drain down into the pan. Okay. There we go. There's the first one. Looking good. You want it, you want the, the meat to pull back and leave the ribs exposed here. And you want this nice color. So what we're gonna do here, this tastes great with or without barbecue sauce. So I'm doing one with and one without. So we'll uh put the second one on there. Again, you gotta watch for the steam. That's gonna be the hot stuff. Okay. Lots of juice in there still. just wants to pop right out but I, I don't really want it to break open until until we're ready to take it in all right so we'll put sauce on the one that's easy to reach Spread the sauce on, and I'm going to spread it on with a silica brush. Baste it on. We'll get it nice and covered. If you want, you can roll it over, get the bottom side also. this and we're gonna let it sit uh, we're gonna turn it turn the trigger down to smoke and we're gonna let it sit only 20 or 30 minutes what you want to do is if you're not using any sauce you want to let it dry if you're using sauce you want to let the sauce set you just so it's uh it's not it doesn't flow it's a little thicker and uh then we'll be ready to eat okay here we go there's our ribs We've got one in the front with barbecue, one in the back, 
just dry. They've been on about 30 minutes. What I'm going to do is just pull them off. I'm going to break it in half. Take a look. Oh dear, this is very tender. The ribs are falling right out. Okay, you can see here, light's kind of fading here. See how our ribs are sticking out. How the barbecue sauce is nicely dried. You can see how the meat pulled apart. This is just great. The uh, you can see the pink from the smoke and then the cooked meat in the middle. There's one. That's going to be a sticky plate. Okay, and here's our dry, no barbecue sauce. You know, if you like the sauce, if you don't like the sauce, I think they taste great both ways. Um, here we are, second piece. Again, you can see how, uh, how it's just coming apart. The ribs are just going to pop right out. Very, very tender. Some steam. Hope I, uh, hope I got the camera shot so everyone can see that. So, anyway. That's about, uh, Three hours on smoke, three hours cooking in the foil. That's a long time slow cooking and this is going to be a great meal. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'd share but this is video.